All right. Next, let's create a new layer. So I'm going to step back up to my highest subdivision, new layer. I'll call this under two. And now let's go through our primary colors. Starting with the dark. And when I'm going through the dark, I'm not going to cover everything. Right? I'm not going through with these secondary colors. I want to leave some of this blue showing through. I want some of that color to show through. So I'm going to increase my focal shift so I have a nice fall off on my brush size. So I don't have to do excessive blending. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to start going across the exterior of these pieces. And you know, the one thing I want to do, I want to turn on my back face masking so I don't sculpt over to the other side and it allows me to move a little bit more quickly through this. Especially since I want the bottom of the hands to keep that blue hue. Definitely starting to get like a tropical feel to them. All right, let's go into my mid. And this time, instead of just going with the straight default settings on the standard brush, I'm going to switch over to spray. And I'm going to apply an alpha at the same time. Because I, what I want to start getting is sort of like those little pigment burst in, in skin, right? So when you look closely at brightly colored skin, you'll find that there's areas where there's just these little pigment bursts in the skin. Look, I forgot to make this thing because it's going to the second week of the course. Are we actually having two classes a week? Sorry, off topic. Actually, next week we'll be having two lectures, um, and then we'll have one crit. And Monday will always be crit day. I want to get this loose speckling in the skin. Get it bleeding into this area. And I, you know, honestly, I don't, I rarely change brush opacity um, as far as the RGB intensity. I typically use my pressure sensitivity to control that, just in case you guys were curious. Z add Z sub. Uh, no, I mean, I'll store a couple different colors in here and, and switch in between them, you know, but not typically. All right, let's call attention to these brows and lighten up the tips here. You know, anything that where you have high areas of contrast, those are going to lead the eye to that part of your character. If we're to stand back and we look at that read, your eye automatically goes over to that area, right? So if you're looking to punch something on your character, 
throw a little contrast in there. All right, lightest color. So I'm just going to hit some specific areas, sort of the extremities, the furthest extremities of these skin folds with this lightest color. It's going to help punch my silhouette. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that that more this eel pattern to kind of break up the silhouette a little bit. It's you have to be when you're when you have something where it's it's sort of like it's alien, it's not quite a recognizable form. It's not like, oh I can say that's a bear, that's a that's a lion, it's easily recognizable. Um, you want to make sure that you you do keep a clear silhouette because it can get very confusing very fast. Um, and when you're coloring, you want to make sure that your uh, texture is not competing with your sculpt. All right, and let's get a, just a little bit in the front of his waddle here. Because I feel like we're losing that in the silhouette. That blue is making it just recede back. And I really want this to be pushed forward. Let's do a little bit of blending. Bring back. All right. Thank you very much, Claude. I appreciate the compliment. I really do. I'm trying my best for you guys. All right, couple things. Let's look at these feet. I really like that little bit of pink, that little bit of flesh showing through. So I'm actually gonna drop that in. I'm just gonna go in, light pink, I'll hand pick it. There's just something that's really cool about that in there. I'm just gonna drop that into the tips, bring that into the padding a little bit. Even though I, I still have a lot more sculpting to do in this area, I'm still gonna drop in this color. It'll make me wanna work harder for it. Dedicate that time. You know, and you kinda have to, when you're working through a sculpt, it's that last like 10% that takes forever, right? Um, you just start to lose the motivation. It's sort of like, a, I don't know if you guys ever, you know, you go dating and you get, get into a relationship, you have that honeymoon period, and I'm, I'm just riffing. I'd like, I want to see this flesh color in a, little, a couple other spots. Um, you have that honeymoon period where you're just excited, oh, I'm just happy to be with you, and then, you know, towards towards the end, if the relationship starts falling apart, you're like, I don't know if I can work through this. I don't know if this is going to work out. So, you know, you go, kind of go through that same thing in uh, in a sculpt, right? You you have that romance period in the very in the very beginning. Let's go ahead and get some pink inside of his mouth too. Um, you have that romance period, you know, where it's like, oh man, I'm so excited to do this, you know, whatever you're doing, right? And then then at a certain point, it becomes work because you have to push through it, right? And you just start to slow down. So, you know, I'm, I've been married close to 10 years now, and the way that I kinda, I kinda look at, I look at marriage and art in a very similar way, you know, or relationships and art in a very similar way, in that you, you need to constantly recommit yourselves. You find things that are constantly exciting about whatever you're, you're working on. You know, some element in the texture, in every part of the process, you want to find something that that keeps you moving. You know, allow yourself the flexibility to go. You know what? I'm going to rethink this this area, and I'm going to see. You know, I'm going to see what comes of it. All right. So let's come in here, darken some stuff up in here, especially towards the back of the throat. I'm not going to worry about the tongue right now because. We are crunched for time, and I'll have to get that on a recording for you. And then let's do a little bit of blending on the inside here. I don't want all that hard speckling. But the speckling does give me some nice variation in color. <laughs> 